Hello, my dear young friends, educators, and all those of you who are watching this fantastic series. You're with me, Pig Brain, here at A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021, the second season of this wonderful initiative created for celebrating knowledge, celebrating India by the Padma Seshatri Bal Bhavan group of institutions. It's been a fascinating journey over the last two years and the quarterfinals have been really, really difficult. If you have watched it, you would know. We're now down to the final 16 of this nation. Some remarkable talent coming in from across the country. And it's really nice to see between last year and this year, a lot of new talent emerging in this quiz, which is fantastic. New faces, new schools, new cities. That's really encouraging, and that is really what the objective of a quiz like this is, to reach more people. Well, time for us to now take you into the semi-final, and to take you through the semi-final, well, it's the lady you only know too well. Her questions are not easy, but she can be very encouraging as a host. A teacher herself, an alumnus of NITK Suratkal, where she was teaching, well, She's a 40 under 40 listed person by Business World and that's a huge recognition for her growing stature and popularity. A co-host with me at Tata Crucible, she's been at the helm of this quiz since last year as she does with many other. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to grill all you youngsters through the semi-finals and to identify the top four from across our nation, please welcome your host, Miss Rashmi Futado. Over to you, Rashmi. Thank you, Big Brain, for the wonderful introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students, welcome to the second semi final of a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021. This has been a wonderful journey and we are in the second year of this quiz created in the memory of a legend in education, Mrs. YGP. These kids who I have with, with me today have gone through multiple rounds of quizzing and have qualified to the semi-final. Let me introduce them to you and then get into the rules of the game. First up, I have Shorvi Chug from Vivek High School. Following Shorvi is Ishwar from PSBB Senior Secondary School. And I have Shubham Singh from Sunbeam School. We had a fourth con contestant, Pratyush Gupta from Genesis Global School, who unfortunately couldn't join us today, but the show still goes on. Moving on into the rules of the game. What we have today is a full-fledged quiz for these kids here. Only one from this semi-final will make it to the final, which is the winner. The scoring pattern is plus 50, minus 50. Single attempt per question only. Multiple attempts will not be allowed. The kids, of course, are free to press the buzzer even before I read out the question. But in doing so, I will stop reading the question then and there because they're indicating to me that they already know the answer. And every question will stay valid for about five to seven seconds. If none of them press the buzzer in that time, I will move on to the next question. Rest of the rules have been explained to them already. If their name shows up on the buzzer, they have to give me an answer or, and take the positive or negative score. They cannot tell me that they pressed the buzzer by mistake. All right, good luck to all you kids. First round of a class apart, Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021, semi-final two. Here we go. She is historic. Well, I think the round suggests what this is all about. Visuals on your screen with corresponding questions that I have for you. Question number one on your screen now. Identify the town from this clues. Shuban, go ahead. The town of Malgudi. Absolutely right. Malgudi giving him a plus 
50, absolutely right. The first plus 50 of the semi-final. Moving on, question number two. This is the famous thousand pillar courtyard or hall in which temple would you be able to find this particular courtyard? Thousand pillar. Think southern India. That's a huge clue. Oh, time's up. No one going on the buzzer there. I thought this was easy because the thousand pillar courtyard from the Madurai Meenakshi temple is famous. The Meenakshi temple is well known mostly for this particular feature that they have. Moving on, question number three. Here we go. Called the Whispering Dome in which monument? Shuban, go ahead. This can be found in the gold gom goal gombas. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Whispering Dome was a huge clue. This is actually a, an inside view of the Whispering Dome. And he got it absolutely right. Plus 50. Moving on. Question number 4. Here we go. Which famous place is this? It's a church. That's quite evident on your screen. Famous, famous, southern India again. Oh, no one going on this one either. This is the church from Velankani. This church also was in news heavily during the tsunami that happened many years ago. The church from Velankani. All right, moving on. Question number five on your screen now. This is the famous conjectural reconstruction of which temple by Percy Brown? Look at those temples very carefully. A very well-known Shuban again. Go ahead. Sun Temple Konark. Plus 50. Absolutely right. The Sun Temple from Konark giving him another plus 50. He is doing well for himself. Moving on to the second round of this quiz. She is beautiful. Here we go. All right. In this particular round, I have visuals on the screen. And each of those visuals, you will also have corresponding blocks that will indicate the number of letters in the answer. All right. The answers are all names of states. Keep that at the back of your mind. This is an India quiz. So everything would be in the context of India. We have an example for you on your screen. Let's see the example. Can any one of you answer? No points. Shuban again, go ahead. Gujarat. This Absolutely. is the Gujarat tourism logo. Absolutely right. The Gujarat tourism logo and the number of circles or blocks that you see fit will fit Gujarat beautifully into those blocks all right moving on question number one on your screen now identify the state Shuban again he seems to be on fire go ahead Maharashtra this is the gateway of India and on that you can see the Shivji from Elora uh, sorry elephant caves. you still get it Maharashtra was the answer I was looking for. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Maharashtra is what I was looking for. Moving on. Question number two on your screens. Now, a state for an answer. As you have figured, I am showing you the tourism logos of our states. Oh. All right. Shuban again. Go ahead. Telangana, Telangana. Telangana. He takes a negative on that one. Minus 50 to you. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference to him. But he still takes a negative. The answer I was looking for is, is Rajasthan. Moving on. Question number three on your screens. Now. India begins here. Shuban, go ahead. Punjab. Punjab, the beautiful, colourful turban there, giving it away. Punjab gives him a plus 50. Moving on, question number 4 on your screens. Now, a state for an answer. Shuban again. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu does not fit into the blocks there, Shuban. 
The answer I was looking for is Tripura. Tripura would have given you that plus 50. All right. The last question of this round on your screen now. Shivan again. Go ahead. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. This is. Tamil Nadu this time gives him a plus 50. Absolutely right on that. Ladies and gentlemen, remember you're watching a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021, the second semi final. Let me quickly tell you where our contestants stand and then move into the next round of the quiz. As of now, we have Shuban who's been doing very well for himself on 200 points. Shorvi and Ishwar are yet, yet to score. But we have two more rounds to go, so it's too soon to comment right now. Let's move on to the next round of the quiz. Round three of this quiz, she is inspiring. Here we go. All right, the third round of this quiz. Again, I have visuals for you on your screen and corresponding questions. All right, question number one of this round on your screen. Now, who painted this famous painting? Very well known name from our country. Probably better known for his compositions than art. That was a good clue. Shuban again, go ahead. I'm taking a guess on this one. Is this Rabindranath Tagore? You're taking a guess on this one. Well, I think if you played guess who, you're a very good guesser. Plus 50. Absolutely right. Rabindranath Tagore giving him a plus 50. All right. Question number two on your screens now. Identify an inspiring Indian from this clue. Shubban again. Go ahead. Varghese Kurian, also known as the milkman of India. Varghese Kurian, also known as the milkman of India. Plus 50. Absolutely right. Moving on, question number three on your screens now. Who is this stamp a tribute to? Or in other words, identify her. Oh, this became a tough one. No one going on the buzzer for this one. A very well-known lady of our country. I actually expected one of them to buzz on this question. The answer I was looking for, Kasturba Gandhi. Kasturba Gandhi. If you can see the expression of a semi-final is all of them are surprised that they didn't get it. Kasturba Gandhi would have given one of them the plus 50. Moving on, question number four on your screens now. This Google doodle is a tribute to whom? Ishwar, go ahead. Vikram Sarabhai. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right, Ishwar. Vikram Sarabhai is whom this Google Doodle is a tribute to. The last question of this round on your screens. Now, who would you associate these books to? Shaban, go ahead. Sarojini Naidu. Plus 50. Absolutely right. Sarojini Naidu giving him a plus 50 on that. With this, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the third round of this quiz. And moving on to the last round. She is a class apart. Before we get into the last round of the quiz, let me quickly tell you where our contestants stand. Shuban is leading this quiz with 350 points and Ishwar is on 50 points. Sharvi is yet to score. Yes, it's, this is the last round of the quiz. Five more questions remaining. But it is still possible for one of them to get all the five right and still beat a Shuban. So let's see what happens. I would still say it is too soon to comment. In this particular round, kids, nothing is going to appear on your screen. You have to listen to what I have to say. So this is an oral round. Your scoring pattern is absolutely the same. Also, as I'm reading out the question, if you press the buzzer, I will stop reading the question right there. Okay? Good luck to all of you. The last round of this quiz, question number one, here we go. Who was India's cricket captain in its first T20 World Cup in 2007? Ishwar, go ahead. MS Dhoni. Plus 50. Absolutely right. MS Dhoni giving him a plus 50. 
Question number two, here we go. The famous dish sambar that we all enjoy is named after which king? Ishwar again, go ahead. I'm Sambaji. Plus 50 to you. Moving on, the third question. N. Chandrasekharan is currently the chairman of which famous group of companies in India? Sure, we go ahead. It's a Tata. Absolutely right. The Tata is giving her a plus 50. The penultimate question of this round. Uh, let me tell you where they stand. Shuban still leading with 350. Ishwar has suddenly reached 150 points. Last two questions remaining. Shorvi is on plus 50. Let's see what happens. The penultimate question. We all know the Sanchi Stupa is found on the rupees 200 note of our country. In which state of India is the Stupa? Shuban, go ahead. Madhya Pradesh. Absolutely right. Plus 50 on that. The last question of this round. Here we go. Which Indian, now a household name, was the flag bearer of India at the Asian Games opening ceremony in 2018? Sharvi, go ahead. Neera Chopra. Plus 50 on that. She's absolutely right. Neera Chopra giving her a plus 50. With a huge lead, Shuban has won this quiz with 400 points and he has made it to the final. Ladies and gentlemen, two more semi-finals to go of a class about Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021. Two more finalists to be identified. Don't go anywhere. I will see you at the third semi-final. Take care.